My next question about PhDs comes again from Sunil, and Sunil asked me too, and they are great ones, what personal qualities should an excellent PhD supervisor have, and how could a student select a good PhD supervisor? Well, Sunil, the amazing thing is, the reason we're doing this series of films for the Times Higher Education is that I wrote a piece about the 10 truths a supervisor will not tell you, and the bulk of those truths were actually about how to select a supervisor. So I would draw you to the Times Higher Education as I draw you to the Times Higher Education for just about everything. Hi to all the editors there, hi to the office. But to, to provide a bit of a quick summary, Sunil, when you're looking for a PhD supervisor, there are some very specific characteristics, I think. The person should be experienced. So in other words, don't start with somebody who hasn't actually got a record of completion. That is the absolute priority for me. They must be well read, they must be well written, and they must be actually working in the field because that will save you incredible time. If you're going, oh, what's available in this area? If you've picked your supervisor very effectively, they can list four, five, six names to enable that section of your chapter and that'll save you time. Also, try and find somebody who doesn't go away a lot. The, the problem when you pick somebody who is senior, which you should be doing, and pick somebody who is reasonably famous and well-known in their field, which you should be doing, is they tend to go away a lot. So they have you know, keynote addresses and all the rest of the stuff that they do. Try and find somebody who's actually pretty happy and stable where they are and have done you know, their, their stints as keynote addresses around the world. So find someone who's quite stable, I think. Also try and find someone who is intellectually generous. And by that, Sunil, I mean find someone who believes in you and actually wants you to be better than they are. I think at the moment you're getting and dealing with intellectual jealousy and all those very negative emotions, I think that's a really bad thing. So look for someone who really believes in you and wants you to be the best person you can be. And I think the other crucial and final variable to think about when you're selecting a supervisor is just make sure they're a decent person. Make sure they're not a dag. Make sure they're not a rat bag. Make sure they're not sort of randomly sleeping with students. Make sure they're actually good, decent, ethical human beings. And then they'll treat you with respect and they'll be with you through your intellectual journey, not only in the candidature, but really through the rest of your intellectual and professional life.